Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos, and I'm just uh, at the very tail end of a full restoration uh, for a customer um, here in Utah County um, of this uh, early, early 1900s um, Emerson. And, uh, and I'm really happy with how it turned out, and I'll play it for you in a second. I want to talk about it briefly. and. Uh, and show you a comparison. I just wheel a, an old piano over. I'll show it to you, um, so you can kind of see more or less a before and after what what the piano comes in like. So, so just just very briefly, if you're interested in a restoration, these old pianos are are great great candidates. Not all, but but many of them are. The period between 1890 and 1930 was just a huge. Um, kind of a boom in piano building, lots and lots of pianos, and then from 1930 to like 1970 or so, really, really mediocre pianos were, were built, Wurlitzer and Kimball, I mean they're okay, but nothing fantastic, nothing like, like these old things. Um, I've rebuilt, I don't know how many dozens of them, and they, and they, just, they just turned out, they just turn out awesome. So if, uh, if piano is sentimental, if it's been in the family for a long time, or it's just, or it's just gorgeous. Actually, this this piano I'm redoing for this uh, couple. It's not actually sentimental. It's not in the family. They just love the, they just love the cabinetry. Actually, the, you can see the uh, legs there, and then here's the the front panel that goes, it goes right here. So that's why they're redoing it. They wanted a new piano, um, or at least they wanted an instrument that would play like new, but, uh, but they don't like the black boxes that are built today. So all of that just to say that, that, if, that, if, that fits, if that fits you, if it's either sentimental or you just love this pre-World War or pre-Depression, kind of World War I era, Victorian age even um, piano, uh, this is a very realistic possibility. So, what, uh, what I've done on this piano, um, I've, all of these tuning pins are, um, are brand new and all the strings, all of the shiny stuff is either replated or buffed. The hammers, these are the hammers right here, that actually hits the string. Those are all brand new, the dampers right here, there's the, the dampers. Um, the hammer butts, that's the, that's the part that down here where the hammer attaches, those are all hammer butts, those are all brand new. Um, the springs down here and the, there's a heavy, heavy wear part right there called the let off button. All of those are totally replaced and then all of the rails here and then there are a couple of rails, metal rails behind the action that you can't see. But uh, you know they all come in dingy and, and awful, and then I redo them so they look like this. And it's not just cosmetic; it's it's also for friction purposes. Obviously, uh, when when it's looking like this, it's um, very low friction versus when it's all dark and dingy, it's high friction. Um, redo the the keys and the bushings. These are the bushings right here that keep the keep the key very um, stable. And there's another one um, underneath underneath each key here. And then down here, all of this stuff here is called the trap work, everything having to do with the pedals. Um, all of this is, is fully rebuilt. So these are original parts. I've just I've just cleaned everything up and um, actually there are some new some new parts like the brackets here and the actual some sometimes I um, replate the pedals. Sometimes I um, can just get away with buffing them, and they're still great. But in in this in this instance, these are brand new pedals and and the brackets that hold the pedals on. But all these other things are original, just just new felts and leather and that sort of thing. Um, and then uh, and then other parts like like soundboard and bridge um, and pin block. Uh, I have. I have various techniques depending on what's going on with them to uh, um, get them to function as, as well as they possibly can. And of course all of the other felts and leather and 
the hammer rest rail and the and the back the back rail which is behind the keys what the keys rest on all of that is is fully fully replaced this is the this is the rest rail right here um, giving a nice surface all of that is brand new so um, before I play it and you can hear how nice it sounds um, let me show you this piano that uh, this is typical of, uh, of what I see when they come in. This piano is less ornate, but still, this is, a good, this is a good piano in its day anyway. This is typical of what I see, so if you can kind of compare, of course, I've, I've already done the, the bushings and um, what else have I done? Not much else. But I've already done some things and I guess that's about it actually. This is about typical of what I see when they when they come in. Just everything is in terrible shape. I mean, age really decimates um, everything. I guess pianos are no exception. So, so that's what that that's just to give you some context of what this piano started out as. And maybe I'll play this one first. <laughs> sound like when they just really out of tune and terrible and yucky and clicky and and the the strings um, they have no in have no uh, harm harmonics over overtones okay so let's hear let's hear this one big big pianos is just that that bass is amazing I hope it comes through on this video that bass is gorgeous and that's and that's a characteristic of a huge piano which by the way is another reason to consider redoing your old piano um, brand new pianos the biggest that they make most pianos are 50 inches. There are some pianos that are 52, and occasionally I'll see I'll see brand new pianos that are 54 inches, but that's very rare. Whereas these old ones start at 54 and they go up to 50, uh, 56, sometimes even 58 inches. I mean, they're they're enormous, and those extra few inches really make a big difference, especially in the bass. Okay, back to playing it. To the uh, to the owners yet? I think they're going to be really, really pleased. I'm excited to kind of unveil it for them. Um, but uh, yeah, if you'd like to like to see what I do, you're more than welcome. I, I give tours of my shop all the time, and I show I've got lots of pianos um, that are in progress for for lots of different customers. So yeah, let's do a 360 and kind of give you give you an idea. Um, 
So lots of pianos in, in progress at all times, so you're more than welcome to come down and, and check it out. Um, and I'll show you what I can do for your piano.